Mookie. <laughs> hey, Matt Diablo. Hey, how are things? We're here at the Coachella Flophouse, live on 91X, uh, as we broadcast from Coachella. The guy just said four miles away from the polo field, so it's, it's a good long walk. Or, uh, I, I ran here. Yeah, Dan, it's <laughs> really as tall as lions, actually jogged here. Uh, I like the headband. It's a good look for you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's a good color. It's a good color for you, uh, Dan, from as tall as lions. People, people good. don't believe that because we actually we're, we have a webcam <laughs> up right now, so we oh, we can tell that he's not in his jogging suit right now. But thanks for coming by, man. Ruining uh, the whole uh, theater of the mind thing. Uh, we've got uh, Strong Island representing. Yes. Is it weird, by the way? You know, it's not like you're a new band. I mean, you're coming up on ten years now. Right, with the, with the yes. band, yeah. And um, it, is it weird, you know, sort of the legacy of Long Island bands? Um, I'm not making any judgment as to your sound, <laughs> yeah. but, you know, but you know what I'm saying, but right? Like, okay. but, but no, 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 no. But, uh, but you don't, you don't necessarily. Uh, you're not wearing like you know New Balance shoes and you know picking up. Is, is there a typical Adidas? sound coming out of that uh, area? You know, when I was a young man, yeah. the Long Island bands were a lot of uh, angry young men playing hardcore music. Yeah. Right. This yeah. is, I mean, certainly like an even keeled guy, not an angry young man. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I never got it. I mean, I, we were never really in that scene. Yeah. We just had to be for Long Island. So. Well, let's go back to the history of As Tall as Lions for a moment. Uh, it was 2002, Blood and Aphorisms comes out. Yeah. Everybody starts losing their ish, and yes. you guys go to record a record. Yes. You go to record a record, and it's disaster. Yes. Yeah. And, and that would kill lesser bands. I mean, at the time, I was playing a band as well, and I was aware of what you guys were doing, and obviously Triple Crown is an awesome label, and we we're big fans mm -hmm. of bands that were coming out of that. So you guys had this EP that everyone lost their mind over, and then you go to record a full-length album, and it was tough. Yeah, I think that for me, I mean, I was 20 years old, and I think I had always written songs you know, for fun. You know, you're in high school and you're in college, you write songs for fun, and then all of a sudden somebody's like giving you money to go record a record, and then wow. I think it gets real. It gets real, you know? And then the realness just was too real. We're like... And you guys left home, you're in Chicago. Yeah, I don't think it had so much to do, do with going away. I think it just had to do with the fact that I was like, wait a second, people are like giving me money and I have to give them a product, and it all of a sudden became not... Did it suck the creative juice It did, for me, it, it, it shouldn't have, but it did. Yeah. Because all of a sudden I, was just, I wanted to please our record label wanted to please our manager. I wanted everyone to be happy with what we were doing, and it in, inhibited me from doing anything. Right, right. just like sit at home, sit in our studio, wherever, just not writing. I would try to write, and everything that happened was just in my mind was crap. So Whereas before, you were just doing it for yourself. Right, and but I feel like on uh, you can't take it with you, which is the album that came out last year. Right. Um, you know, maybe you deal with, with well, certainly you've, you've worked past that, obviously. Right. I mean, maybe you deal with some of those themes, you know, in terms yeah, of. Yeah, I think so. Like, the record has, I mean, even the first track in particular is just about overcoming it, like an anxiety attack. Or, or like, you know, it's written from the perspective of, of trying to help somebody else out, but really it's about yourself just trying to figure out what's wrong and how to get over that. As someone who suffers from anxiety, I can recognize it in someone else. How do you cope with yeah. that? So, uh, I, a, I am a Xanax aficionado, I don't know if you are, but uh, it, it helps out a lot. And uh, we're really grateful that you've joined us here in the uh, Flop House. Now, you guys are playing today uh, at 310 on the Mojave stage. Yes. So, uh, for those of you, even though you guys are going almost 10 years strong uh, with uh, As Tall as Lions, for those of you who are uninitiated, I would like to introduce to you uh, here on 91X, Dan from uh, As Tall as Lions, and you can play a song for us. Yeah. Cool, yeah, I'm going to play a song off of our uh, 2006 self title that's called Where Do I Stand? Fantastic. <laughs> Oh 
with uh, 91 Acts. Dan, first and foremost, I want to thank you. Uh, you've been here for a while, just kind of hanging out up against the wall, propping up against the wall. With yeah. All the nonsense that's been going on. So uh, thank you so much once again. Uh, as Tall as Lions playing 310 uh, today, the Mojave stage. And, uh, you know, best of luck. Thank you very much. Thank you. You better get out there. Thanks for stopping by, yeah. man. Yeah. Uh, and all you right. can, of course, catch all these archived performances up at 91x.com. Uh, we will be back with uh, Spoon, Tokyo Police Club, and Devo all joining us. That's amazing. More from the Coachella Flophouse next on 91x.